from Tampa Bay streaming news leader. This is ABC Action News. Hello, I'm Wendy Bryan. Chief Meteorologist Dennis Phillips has Florida's most accurate forecast in just a moment. But first, here are your top stories at this hour. New developments in the Gabby Petito case. The FBI revealing a notebook found near Brian Laundrie's body included a murder confession. The agency also says their investigation did not identify any other individuals other than Brian Laundrie directly involved in her death. According to the Laundrie's family attorney, Brian's parents will not be charged. And the FBI says all investigative steps have concluded. The Bucks are preparing for this Sunday's playoff game. There are uh, so many question marks in the injury report, especially when it comes to the offensive line. But tackle Tristan Wirfs was at practice today in limited capacity. Quarterback Sean Murphy Bunting also returned in full participation. The Cups and Rams, Bucks and Rams kick off on Sunday at three, and the winner plays the winner of the Green Bay and San Francisco game. And that matchup is in Green Bay tomorrow night. Tomorrow afternoon, the 2022 Ashley Children's Gasparilla will be presented by Chick-fil-A Tampa Bay. It starts at 3.30 and there will be some road closures. As usual, Bayshore Boulevard is going to shut down at 12 a.m. Saturday and reopen at 11.45 p.m. Saturday night. So essentially, it's all day long. There will also be smaller closures throughout the day on Beta Bay and the Davis Islands Bridge. As far as ways to avoid Bayshore, McDill is always a good option, but that could still be pretty busy. So you might want to go further west and use Del Mabry. And now here's Chief Meteorologist Dennis Phillips with Florida's most accurate forecast. Dennis. How you doing, everybody? A lot of clouds out there on Friday, some scattered showers in northern counties, but I suspect by later on Saturday, unfortunately, that is going to pose an issue for the children's parade. Pretty decent chance we see some scattered showers in the morning into the early afternoon hours. Nothing tremendously heavy, but still you might want to bring the umbrella. In fact, I'd say it's a pretty good idea. You should bring the umbrella if you are heading on out for the parade. Things begin to clear later in the afternoon. Sunday looks great for the Bucks game with sunny skies and temperatures topping out only in the low to middle 60s. So we've got another front coming in next Tuesday and Wednesday. Could see some heavier storms and possibly an even stronger storm next weekend for the invasion, that is something we're going to have to keep a close eye on. Florida's most accurate seven-day forecast. A few showers around, unfortunately, on Saturday. Sunday looks beautiful. So does Monday. But look at those highs only in the 60s. And another front rolls in Tuesday into Wednesday.